Welcome to UCSF, Department of Orthopedic Surgery and Division of Sports Medicine and Shoulder Surgery. You must be getting nervous with your upcoming shoulder surgery. Don't worry, we're here to help you. In this video, we'll go through some of the pre-operative planning and preparation and some of the post-operative care and exercises. Make sure you listen to the instructions. Good luck with your upcoming surgery and hope you have a speedy recovery. Thank you for choosing UCSF. In this video, the content will include information about medications, physical therapy, preoperative instructions, as well as postoperative instructions. Medications. Please fill your medication prescriptions prior to surgery. Narcotic medications will be a paper prescription that you physically must take into pharmacy, and non-narcotic medications will be e-prescribed to your pharmacy. Check your after-visit summary to the location of your e-prescribed prescriptions. Physical therapy. Contact a physical therapist prior to your surgery to get an appointment scheduled. You want to begin physical therapy approximately 7 to 10 days following your surgery. You will receive a physical therapy prescription at your pre-operative appointment or at your first post-operative appointment. Antibacterial body wash. If you receive the packet of Hibiclens at your pre-operative visit, Remember to use it the night before or the morning of your surgery. Wash your entire body with the soap and rinse off. Do not use it on your face, hair, or genital area as it may cause dry skin. If you do not have a preoperative visit, you can purchase Hibiclens or antibacterial dial from a pharmacy. Food and water. Do not eat any food or drink any fluids, including water, after 12 a.m. the night prior to your surgery. Patients who do not follow this may experience a delayed or even canceled surgery. MyChart. If you have not already signed up for your UCSF MyChart, please refer to the back of your after-visit summary, also known as your AVS, to register. This is an online portal that will enable you to access some of your medical records, request prescription refills, check appointment times, and most importantly, it allows you to send and receive messages from your treating physician or surgeon. Icing. Use a bag of ice, ice pack, frozen peas, or cold therapy unit. Place over bandaged shoulder for 20 minutes every one to two hours to decrease pain and inflammation. If you do not feel like the ice is penetrating the surgical dressings, discontinue until after your post-op appointment when the bandages are removed. Following surgery, begin taking the medication as prescribed by your surgeon. Surgical dressings. Make sure to keep the dressing on the surgical site until your first post-operative visit, usually about five to nine days after your surgery. Do not remove the dressing or put ointment on your incision as this may increase the risk of post-operative infection. Post-op shoulder sling. To make it easier to put the brace on, buckle in the neck strap first, then slide your surgical arm into the sling. Buckle in your waist strap, then adjust your sling strap. To remove your sling, undo your sling Velcro straps, then undo your waist and neck strap, then slowly slip out your surgical arm out of your sling. Clothing. We recommend loose or button-up tops. While keeping your arm at your side, slide the top up your surgical arm first, then get your non-surgical arm in second. Perform the opposite when getting undressed. Get your non-surgical arm out first, then slide the top down your surgical arm. Bathing. You may sponge bath following your surgery. You can also carefully shower using a handheld shower head, but be very careful that you do not get your surgical dressings wet, as this may increase the risk of post-operative infection. Do not swim in a pool or the ocean until instructed by your surgeon. Sleeping. You must wear the sling when sleeping at night. The most comfortable position tends to be semi-reclined, such as propped up in bed with pillows or in a reclining chair. You can return to a flat bed 
when you feel comfortable to do so. Driving. You are not allowed to drive for six weeks until you are discharged from wearing the sling and have discontinued using the narcotic pain medication. Post-operative exercises. These will begin on post-op day one. Perform these exercises five times per day until physical therapy begins. Please call the office if you have any of the following. Fever greater than 101.5 degrees Fahrenheit or 38.5 degrees Celsius. Continuing drainage from the wound or dressing. Unrelenting pain. Excessive nausea or vomiting due to pain medication or any other worrisome conditions. If you have questions, feel free to call 415-353-7566 or your surgeon's practice assistant Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 p.m. For assistance after hours or weekends, call the office at 415-353-7566 and the answering service will assist you. If you have any questions, please contact our office at 415-353-7566. Thank you for choosing UCSF Medical Center.